How's it going guys? Medium difficulty question for cardio anatomy for step one. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical looks down below. Any telegram links to the telegram group and channel down below. Let's start the clip. 72 year old man, he has an MI. And we see here that he has left dominant coronary circulation. Okay, obviously I'll discuss the meaning of that in a moment. And then uh, the question is asking, it sounded a bit confusing or nebulous. It says, uh, which the following best reflects the normal pathway of blood through the occluded coronary vessel. So let's look at the MI, uh, at the ECG here with this MI where, I mean, I blew it up in our faces. Okay, I uh, Googled inferior infarct and ECG and we obviously have ST elevations in leads two, three and AVF. That's, that's a pass level component. Okay, you need to know inferior infarct diaphragmatic surface of the heart, that's going to be uh, leads 2, 3 AVF. That's past level. Of course, we're asking about the anatomy, so it ups the difficulty to medium, perhaps. Uh, and you need to know for... Uh, okay, so let me let me just move through the question before I uh, digress too much. So, uh, choice say left coronary, uh, left circumflex, left posterior descending, correct answer. Okay, so this is our correct answer. Now, let me explain. When we talk about uh, left versus right dominant coronary, coronary circulation, most people are right dominant. 85% plus literature differs on the exact percentage, doesn't fucking matter, okay? Now what the dominant circulation means is which coronary vessel, left or right, does the posterior descending artery ultimately derive from, okay? So we know right away that the posterior descending artery, even if this were an anterior infarct, which it's not, but in general, we say the posterior descending artery in this patient must come off of the left uh, main coronary. Okay, so we're eliminating DNA here. The next step is saying, well, if we have an inferior infarct, which vessel would be occluded? The answer is going to be the posterior descending artery because it's the PDA, not patent duct arteriosus, posterior descending artery that is going to supply the diaphragmatic slash inferior surface of the heart. You need to know that, okay? Now, where this can get a little bit confusing is because most people are right dominant, if the question doesn't specify left dominant, if they just say random fucking person off the street and they have an inferior infarct, uh, which the following vessels is most likely to be occluded, the answer could just be right coronary. And some students memorize that a bit too strictly, in my view, okay? And you say, well, it could be the right coronary if the right dominant, and it could be the, just the posterior descending artery coming off the right coronary if they're presumably right dominant, okay? But there's a question on one of the offline NBMEs where they pretty much the same fucking question, okay? And they, uh, they just give you left dominant circulation, and they want you to know that uh, there's an infarct in the, the PDA, that there's an inferior... Uh, am I? And when we look at choices A versus B here, and you say, well, am I supposed to know this nitpicky anatomy? Okay. Like how, how was I supposed to know that specifically the pathway is left main coronary to left circumflex to PDA? That sounds like, that sounds hard. Well, my response is the diaphragmatic surface is supplied by the posterior descending. That's the end point. We know that that's our end point. And we know that our starting point is left main coronary. So left circumflex just conveniently fits in the middle. They could have thrown any fucking vessel in here by all means. You know, they could have said uh, the, you know, some obtuse artery or something, okay? Which it's wrong, but I'm just saying they could have thrown any vessel in there. But they're testing you. Do you know that uh, the supply is going to end with the PDA? And clearly it starts with the left main coronary. So choice A just conveniently fits that. It's the only one that works. You know B can't be right because the left circumflex isn't the end point uh, vessel that's supplying the diaphragmatic surface of the heart. Now, if we look at some of the other answer choices here, such as choice C, which is the wrong fucking answer, well, this would be for an anterior infarct, which could be ST elevations in V1 through V3 to V4-ish. Okay, I say ish. There could be some variation. So ST elevations V2, V3, okay, which they're not even here on this ECG. Well, that would be uh, choice C here. And then if we look at uh, choice D, this makes no fucking sense because under no circumstances does the 
anterior descending artery come off of the right coronary artery? Okay, so D is just a nonsense distractor answer. So your take home for this question is the diaphragmatic surface of the heart, the inferior heart is supplied by the posterior descending artery. Most of the time it comes off the right main coronary, but if you're left dominant circulation, it's gonna come off the left main coronary where we have left main coronary goes to left circumflex goes to posterior descending artery. That's for the diaphragmatic surface of the heart. And that's going to be ST elevations in 2-3 AVF. If we have an anterior infarct, that's going to be left main coronary goes to anterior descending artery. And that's going to be ST elevations in V1 through V4. And the anterior descending artery is also going to supply the apex of the heart. Okay, if they tell you anything about hypokinesis of the apex, etc., that's left anterior descending artery. If you have a left lateral infarct, ST elevations in V4 through V6, that would just merely be an infarct in the left circumflex artery. You know the deal to make more content if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.